Hi everyone! Welcome back to another vlog. For today's video guys, I am finally sharing with you my jewelry collection. This is something that is really close to my heart. Because I have a thing for jewelry. I love it so much. This is actually a small collection and I'm trying to build it slowly but surely. And as in, lahat ng jewelry ko nandito na sa loob and actually I think sa ngayon puno na so kung mag-add ako ng bago either mag-let go ako ng something or mag-add ako ng storage so anyway for today's video I wanted to share with you yung jewelry pieces ko and also share with you where I get my pieces kasi I think this is one of your most asked questions this might be a chatty video so maglalagay ko ng timestamps sa baba so kung gusto nyo mag-skip just check the timestamps below for my collection yeah, these are mostly yellow gold pieces because I feel like yun yung mas bagay sa skin tone ko and yun yung mas gusto ko talaga. And these are also mostly solid gold pieces. So I also get questions kung bakit ako mahilig sa gold, bakit ako nabubudol ng mga tao na mag-gold. I think it really is a good investment ang gold kasi yung bentahan sa kanya, kunyari sa Ongpin, it is per gram and then yung price niya per gram, tumataas siya. Nagpunta kami sa Ongpin kahapon, yung price niya per gram sa isang store is 2.8 for isang store naman, 2.750. And I think online yung price niya is 3,150 pesos. So yung price niya per gram, tumataas, patagal na patagal. So kung bumili ka ngayon ng hikaw na 3,000 pesos, maybe in a few years, mabibenta mo siya ng 3,300, 3,500 pesos. So kumita ka, ba? And also, the reason why I really, really love getting solid gold pieces, sobrang nagmamatter sa akin yung quality, yung cost per wear. So, if you're someone who shops at, let's say, Zara for uh, hoop earrings na siguro 1,000 pesos ata yung mga hoops nila, or sabi natin 800 pesos. Tapos, after dalawang suot, nag-tarnish. There's no way na mabibenta mo yung nag-tarnish mo na earrings sa resale market kasi nga, nag-tarnish na. Whereas, kung bumili ka ng gold, there are pieces as low as 2,000 pesos and pwede mo siyang ibenta sa resale market nang hindi ka nalulugay kasi nga, tumataas mo value niya. So, nagigets niyo ba ako? Sana nagigets niyo ko. But, really, syempre, kaya ako gusto talaga ng gold jewelry is because gusto ko siyang makikita sa akin as rings, necklaces, earrings, ganun. And besides that, I know that I can still make my money back. This is your most asked question sa akin. And ito yung jewelry piece na nag-start ng love ko for real gold. This is the first jewelry that I got for myself using my own hard-earned money. So ito siya. This is my necklace that you always see in almost all of my photos on Instagram. There! Ang ganda! Super duper love ko talaga to. This is 18K yellow gold. Yung name ng necklace is Diamond Cut Beaded Necklace. It comes with a bracelet as well. This one. Ayan. As in exact same sila. Match sila. And for everyone asking, this one I got from Italy. Actually, an online shop owner turned friend got it for me. Ang ganda. Sobrang ganda. Since sobrang love ko to and this is something that I will never ever get tired of. Okay, next naman is this one. Kung mapapansin nyo, kaming tatlong magkakapatid, mayroon kami nito. This is actually from an old jewelry of my mom. Di ba yung gusto mga alahas nung panahon nila? Yung mga malalaki, mga mababato. And it's not something na isusot talaga natin. So what we did was pina, ano man tawag doon? Pina-remake namin siya. So yung opal doon sa hikaw and doon sa singsing tinanggal and then pinagawa namin pendant. And this is really, really close to my heart kasi nga, it's for my mom. So, ito yung itsura niya kapag suot. It's a really dainty pendant and we love it so much. So, yun yung advice ko sa inyo if may naman na kayo ng mga jewelry pieces na alam nyo sa sarili nyo hindi nyo masusuot talaga. You can always have it reworked into something na magagamit nyo everyday. By the way, for lengths, this is 18 inches and then this is 22 inches. And yung chain nito is from SM Department Store. For me, yung selection nila doon is really nice. May mga hidden gems sila. Yun nga lang yung price is medyo mahal since per piece sila and not per gram. So just keep it in mind. And usually naman, mayroon silang discounts, mayroon silang sales. So magtanong lang kayo. Okay, moving on for bracelets naman. I've already told you about this bracelet na matchy lang nito. This is a paperclip bracelet. I'm not sure kung nakita nyo na to kay Hazel. 
Well, pero training kami dito. And this is something that we've been talking about getting siguro last year pa. Pero kuripot kasi kami dalawa. So, parang kanyang, sisibili na natin. Pero hindi namin mabili-bili. Binili namin siya Valentine's Day, 5.14, magka-chat kami. So, yun. That's the story behind this one. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung size ng paper clips nito is a lot smaller than the usual ones. And super nag-match siya dito. And it's really dainty and cute. And also, guys, if you like madaming tao yung takot bumili, takot magtanong kasi feeling nila sobrang mahal. Honestly, ganun ako before kasi nga, yung mom ko sobrang hilig sa alahas. So, I felt like yung alahas, pang matanda siya, pang magulang siya. Like, for budget siya ng magulang. Pero I realized now na hindi pala. Kasi, per gram naman yung bilis. So, mas magaan, mas affordable. So, this one, since it's a smaller paper clip, this is a bit more affordable than yung larger ones kasi mas konting gold yung ginamit sa kanya. This is my lucky charm. It's a three coin bracelet na nasa red string. And pinabless to sa temple talaga. So, there. Here, I have two card earrings. And I got this in stores again, Belt. And ito yung thicker one. I love it so much. I got this to remember a very special milestone in my life. And super na happy lang talaga ako pag nakikita ko to. Although yung sad part lang, which I've come to accept na, is since it's a thick band of gold, talagang it's really prone to getting scratched. And the next one naman is the one that I got from Sissy Marie Car, kay Ate M. It's from a vintage store, pero brand new and sobrang steel nito. Would you believe na the price that I got this for is cheaper kung magkana ko to nabili in store. So, this is yung love ring na mayroong tatlong diamonds. And I love it so, so much. Yun nga lang, hindi ko siya sobrang masuot kasi takot na takot ako na ma-scratch siya kasi sobrang, ah, tinitreasure ko pa siya. Sinastack ko na lang siya with my half eternity gig. So, yan. Ngayon, it's sure niya, together, it looks so expensive. Ang ganda, oh my god. So, the half eternity ring naman, I got for my birthday, I think, two years ago, sa Abu Dhabi Airport during our Morocco trip. So, super duper special din ang piece na to sa akin. This one, I'm sure alam nyo, and this is yung Christmas gift sa amin Ray. It's an initial dot ring from by September. Super ganda ng pieces nila, and made locally. I actually ordered a necklace from them, so excited na din ako makuha yun. And actually, what I noticed sa kanila is sobrang ganda ng diamond na gamit kasi sobrang brilliant, sobrang sparkly niya. The next two rings are both from Majuri and my friends know how much I love croissants. So I got the croissant ring and then this one just had it engraved with my initial na letter J. And again, since bigger surface area itong dalawa, prone to scratching din talaga sila. This one na naman, tweening kami ni Hazel. So, yung style niya is parang twisted band with a stone in the middle, pero hindi siya diamond. I think Russian stone daw to. Ayan, sobrang dainty. These are the only rose gold items in my collection. These two I got from Pandora. And then this one I got from Charul. I keep these for sentimental value. I also have this one. It's a twisted bracelet. Parang matcha sila nung ring ko. And this one was also from my mom's collection. So I have three friendship bracelets over here. Sobrang love na love na love ko tong mga to. Pero I don't think I'm gonna get more. The blue ones we got from Morocco. And sobrang special nito kasi that's really one of my favorite tips abroad. And then itong pink one naman. At the fove we got for me nung birthday ko. And then, ito, another special gift. It's from Ate Maricar. Nakuha ko to sa giveaway niya sa live, I think. It's a silver Tiffany bracelet and I'm keeping this kasi it's really sentimental for me. And lastly, on the topic of bracelets, this is actually my only watch and I got it from my dad. So, ayan yung itsura niya. Mayroon siyang dark blue face inside na parang may gradient effect sa loob. And then, mayroon lang siyang diamonds inside. If you watch my previous vlog, then you probably saw this already. This is my current favorite, and ito yung talaga ah nakapagputi ko ng heart ko. Oh my god! So this is yung Alhambra necklace from VCA. I had it customized to 18 inches, and I feel like hindi pa din enough yung length na yon sa akin. So naglagay ako na dalawang extender dito. So guys, if you're not familiar, ito yung sinasabi kong extender. Para sa mga chain na ikaw connect mo dun sa lock ng necklace mo. Para I'm extend your necklace. And I feel like this is a must-have in anyone's collection. Especially if mahilig kayong mag-layer para mapaglaryaan nyo yung length ng mga necklaces nyo or ng bracelets nyo. So, this is how it looks. Sobrang dainty. Sobrang love na love ko talaga. Sinanghabi lang siya tingnan. Ang liit-liit niya lang. I have another chain necklace dito. This is like a curved chain necklace pero 
very small lang yung curbshade niya. This is also from my mom and I love wearing this kapag nasa beach, ganon. Yan, it's so nice. Oh my god, ang ganda ng layer na to. Diba? Nice. Okay, next necklace and another one from my mom. A box chain na necklace and super ganda niya lang din talaga. I like this kapag simple lang din yung pendant ko or pang layer, ganon. I think this one is also 18 inches. So, this is how it looks on. Kung makikita nyo, it's kind of sparkly as well. That's why I also really love it. And by the way, guys, can I just say na this is another proof that really is a good investment. So, nakikita nyo yung pieces na yan. Ito, tsaka ito. These are some of the pieces that I got from my mom. And the fact na napapass on mo siya from generation to generation just proves how much of a good investment it is. Next item and another one from CC Marie Carr. This necklace reminds me of Rapunzel so much and I think amethyst yung stone na to. And then meron lang siyang very very tiny diamond dun sa taas. Ay, ang ganda. Oh my god, I love. This one I haven't worn yet. Feeling ko it's a bit dressy for me kasi sobrang casual ko lang na tao pero it's a really nice piece to have in my collection. The next piece is another really, really dainty necklace that I got from Micaela's PH. Kaya lang guys, sa sobrang dainty niya, sobrang laki ng chance na maging tangled siya. And right now, it is tangled. Mayroon lang siyang balls and it's really dainty. It's really nice when worn. Sobrang love ko din to kasi it's a different type of chain. I got this from SM Department Store din. I got it with a pendant. So, sal yun matawag dito. Ayan, that's how it looks. Super duper nice. Also guys, the reason why I love getting chains, I highly suggest na bumili kayo ng mga chain na medyo versatile and different lengths para next time, pendants na lang yung bibili nyo and parang ang dami yung necklace sa collection nyo when in fact, madami lang kayong pendants. Okay, now guys, let's move on to the final category, yung mga earrings. This is also actually one of my favorites kasi kahit nasa bahay lang ako, pwede akong mag-earrings. May reason ako to wear earrings. For earrings, I really really love hoops. So, medyo puro hoops sila na iba-ibang sizes. So, I'm going to start with those na hindi hoops. <laughs> So this pair, nakita nyo sa what I got for Christmas video ko. Really, really love. I got it from Ati M as well. I think it's a total of 0.80 carat na diamond. Love the size. I think the size is just perfect for me, for my ears. Ayan. The thing with diamonds though is, kapag nagsangla ka ng alahas, hindi nila ikakount yung diamonds. So ako, medyo careful ako when it comes to items with diamonds because I'm not sure if it's an investment. Pa siya. I'd have to do my research on that more and as of now, I'm happy with the items with my diamonds. Okay, next earring. Ito lang yung only white gold earrings ko and only dangling earrings ko sa collection ko. And it's so cute! Grabe! Ang ganda! Oh my god! Ngayon ko pa lang siya ng sukat and sobrang cute niya. So, if you watch Korean drama, so mapansin nyo na ganyan yung mga type of earrings na sinusuot nila. And ang cute! Oh my god! Ang cute! So, ayan. Nangarap pala ko ng yellow gold na ganito. So, I really like this one as well. Yun lang yung non-hoop earrings ko. The rest are gonna be hoops. So, I think let's go by size na lang. I just got this today and it was such a surprise. It's a gift from Sky Love PH and sobra sobra sobrang happy ko as in. Sobrang tagal ko na naghahanap ng huggy na hoop earrings and for some reason, hindi ko makuha yung perfect size for my earlobes and ayan na siya. Ito siya. It's the perfect size for me. Kaya sobrang happy ko. And it's going to be my new everyday hook earrings. Di ba? Ang ganda. So it's really tiny and cute. And it really hugs your lobes in the right ways. <laughs> Ito yung inakala kong ganong size. Pero hindi. Pero cute pa din naman. And I also love this. And medyo mukha pa din siyang huggy. Pero medyo may space siya. Hindi siya sobrang nag-hug. Tiny hook pa din siya. This is my only customized piece of jewelry, I think. And yung hindi ko lang talaga nagustuhan dito is sobrang tedious ng process ng pagpapakustomize. Customized pieces of jewelry are more expensive than those na talagang gawa na. Still nice. Ayan, maganda pa din naman siya kapag suot mo na. Kaya lang, hindi... Basta hindi niya na-meet yung expectations ko. This one's again from Micaela. It's medyo size siya nung kanina, pero thin hoop naman siya. Sa dati kong videos, ito yung hoop na lagi kong suot. Sobrang okay siya for everyday lang. And very simple and clean na hoop lang. 
And then lastly, this one is from Mejuri. And my first hope, super love na love ko to. Ayoko lang yung way niya kung paano siya isusuot. Kasi ganito siya. Ayan o. Para siyang alambre na ipapasok mo sa ear mo at ang binibend-bend mo siya. This is my biggest hope, pero ito din yung thinnest hope ko. I think perfect balance lang yung size and diameter niya and yung thickness niya. So, fair. So, I guess that completes our video for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends. Yun lang, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry it took so long for me to finally do it. And yun lang, sa, I am so happy to be able to share things like this with you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.